Morgan, everybody, and welcome to Freeport. And as the sign says, welcome to the Hive. Tonight, the Highlands Golden Rams invade Freeport to play the Freeport Yellow Jackets in a big section game. Along with the Dean Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik, Landon Signorella alongside. Dominic Stober with us tonight on a uh, nice, clear night for basketball outside. Roads are good and a big crowd on hand, Dean. Yeah, a little chilly tonight, Mike, but uh, they're dresser beach night over there in the Freeport crowd, so uh, they're going to try to warm things up here. we got to cool them off. That's exactly right. Well, the Rams clinched the playoff spot with their win on Tuesday night in Mount Pleasant's loss to knock. So that's out of the way. It's the fifth straight time that they've made the playoffs and would have been the keys to that uh, this year, Dean. Well, Mike, I do think we've been playing much better defense, especially in the second half, Mike. They're only averaging 19 points a game, our opposition, in the second half. That's a great statistic. Another one is turnovers, Mike. We've improved uh, last game at York. We forced 20 turnovers, only committed six. They, in the meantime, have got it down to 190 to 188 now. So, again, playing defense, getting the ball turned over has been, I think, the key to the second half so far. Well, it has, and they uh, they fixed those things. And another thing they fixed was the free throw shooting, which had been a bugaboo early in the season, and they seem to have that under control also. Well, this is a tough place to play. They don't call it a high for no, for no reason at all. Freeport is 8-6 and six overall in the season, but they are 6-1 and one here. And the only game they've lost on this floor is to Mars. Yeah, Mike, and again, they crank up the music here. They have a nice cry. We have a great cry here from Hines tonight, too. Uh, JB game got even heated, so it's going to make it very interesting. But again, J Johnny Kreitz, we played him three times in his career. He's averaging 22 points a game against them. And uh, Corey Myers, last four games, scoring 16 points a game. That's a big help, too, Mike. So again, again, we, we're hitting an all cylinders right now. They're coming in. They're a little banged up. Yeah, so what is going on with Freeport? They had six of their first eight games at home, and they went six and two in those. But now, coming into tonight, they've lost four out of six, including two games this week. Yeah, Mike, they lost their last uh, four. The one in section hurt was Tuesday against Derry, and it hurt for two reasons. Their, one of their starters, Plocky, is now out of the lineup here at his arm in that game. But, again, they're now tied for third place with Derry. Good news, if you tie, you still get to go. The game against Armstrong, one thing about Freeport, they're very young, Mike, and I thought they might have been looking forward to us come tonight and maybe that Armstrong game got past them. We better be prepared because if they were looking forward to tonight, they're coming to play. We have to, too. Well, that's right. The Rams have done well here in this building, including Johnny Christ averaging 22.5 points a game against these guys in two games. Last year when Highlands came here, Johnny hit three three-pointers. I don't know that's that you're scary. Yeah, I don't know that you're looking for that in a normal, on a normal basis, but we'll see what happens with that tonight. Well, Dean, on the way up tonight, we followed the Planet Fitness fan. Yes, we did from Texas. We did, and of course, the Planet Fitness at the Heights Plaza in Atrona Heights is your home of the Judgment Free Zone, which is set right on the back of the van. They provide a unique uh, setting where everyone, and we mean everyone, is free to work out in a non-intimidating environment for as little as ten dollars a month. It's still one dollar down, ten dollars a month till the thirty-first. Great, uh, they extended it. So they extended it to the end of the month. I saw the commercial last night. Um, they're open and staff twenty-four-seven. You can work out on your own schedule, and that staff is friendly. They'll help you meet your fitness goals, and especially at this time of the year with those extra pounds you're trying to work off from the holidays and with the weather being what the weather is there isn't a whole lot you can do outside so you might as well get into a nice clean planet fitness and take care of that in there remember memberships are available for as low as ten dollars a month so stop by the planet fitness in the heights today tip off is coming up it's highlands and freeport and it's right after this All right, we're back, getting ready for the starting lineups here tonight. Highlands in the brown, Freeport in the white. That was close, close enough. <laughs> that was close. Tyler Stachinski leading the goal around. Seth Cohen, a 6'2 senior, will start tonight, coming in, averaging six points a game. Number 11, Corey Myers, mentioned in the pregame, 16 in the last four games, comes in averaging 10 a game. Where's number 11? Dom Pacey. Where's number 13? A sophomore, 5'8", averaging six points a game. Johnny Kreiss, the big guy in the middle, 6'7", junior, averaging 16.1 per game. And our captain and leading scorer, Luke Cochran, 6'2", junior, comes in averaging 20.3 points per game. Starting lineups brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting in Natrona Heights. For all your commercial and industrial paintings needs, they got you covered. 
let's take a look at the starting lineup. We mentioned Nathan Plocky out of the lineup tonight, Mike. Saw him come in with a sling. Yes. And he's been scoring for them, too. We're going to start two freshmen tonight. Number one, Vinny Clark, a 5'9 freshman. Scored three points last time out against the Golden Rams. He's also a freshman. Also a freshman getting his first start tonight. The big guy in the middle, number 21, Matt Alessino, a 6'5 freshman. He had two the first time around. I like that kid a lot, Mike. He's got a great personality, too. So's his dad. <laughs> yes. Number five, Garrett Sheffheiser, six-foot junior. He killed us in the first game, Mike. He had he 26. So he has no count for him. Their captain, number 11, Aiden Sarkowski, six-foot junior. Had nine against last time. Sprotsky did a nice job. And the senior, the only starter for a senior, Mike, six-foot. Number three, Jalen Brown. He had 24 points against us the first time around. To beautify and protect, call Dan Timmons Painting, 724-224-2851. Dan Timmons Painting, they got you covered, and we thank them for bringing us the starting lineups. So the tip-off of tonight's game brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Individualized basketball training for third graders through varsity and beyond on Twitter at Mason Elite Hoops. I think a few of the Freeport guys also got a Mason lead too, Mike. These guys, as we mentioned the first time around, they knew each other real well. They've been playing since uh, Y Ball up at the Allegheny Valley YMCA located in Toronto Heights, but it's right on the border of Toronto Heights and Freeport. So we're set to go. Johnny Christ against Jalen Brown. And we'll get this one underway. The Rams come in 10-4, and 5-1 and one in section. Playoff berth already wrapped up. They've won four in a row and eight out of their last ten. And they're playing their best ball. Cochran controls the opening tip. Got a two-on-one break if they want to take advantage. Here's Myers. Kicked it back to Luke. And the Rams will set things up against Freeport here. Moving right to left, dressed in their traveling brown with a gold and white trim. Freeport in the home whites. Straight man to man, Mike. Myers found Pacey right side. Now back to Cochran top of the circle. He drives in. Body hit the floor. And Myers does a good job, saved it for a moment. But Brown steals it away. He drives in, lays it in. And the Yellow Jackets lead it 2 to nothing. It's a sloppy ball handle in there, Mike. Referees tonight, a lot of familiar faces. We've got Joey Touchstone, former coach, Mark Emmerling, and Rudy Seneca. Rudy works a lot with former plum coach. Ron Richards. Ron Richards, and a big article about them in the paper. Rudy thinks former coaches make great referees. They know the game so well. Christ goes into the paint, lays it up and scores, and the Rams tie it at two, just like that. We talked about it in the pregame, that Johnny averaging 22 and a half in the two games he's played against Freeport in his career. And he had 24 the first time at Highlands. Scratch against the ball on the wing. Now Schaffhauser out top. Brown's going to let a three go. It's off the back rim. No good. Myers tipped it and Cohen controls it. Smart idea by Seth, Mike. Got the ball back to Luke. Get it to your guards. Here's Cocker now. Drives into the paint against Brown. High off the glass. Oh, go! Baby. But here's Johnny to give the Rams the lead. I'm impressed by Mike. He does it in traffic. It's not those three dribbles and dunk it. He just went up right underneath the hoop and put it in. Makes his presence known and a good job by Cohen to get a piece of it. Knocked it off of Alessino and Highlands will get possession at 620. Now we have a... Here we go. Call they, called, they called Schaffhauser for not tucking his shirt in or not having it properly tucked in, and Rudy Senek is making him come out of the game for that. That's and, old school, Mike. Yeah, that's old school. It's also a bit much. <laughs> Patrick Keeley will come in for Freeport 15. And they get right it. Do you get written up for that? Yep. <laughs> Myers drives in. It won't go. The tip by Cohen is no good, and the rebound comes to Freeport. You got to follow that play, Mike. Now right side, it comes to Keeley. And Brown takes it. 4-2 Highlands just underway. Big crowd here tonight. Mentioned good weather for this one. Dry roads are all we ask this time of year. How cold it is doesn't matter. It's a good place to escape. Yep. <laughs> 
And that's going to be on Dom Pacey. That'll be his first. I talked about the other day, Mike. We took two foul shots. The game took an hour and five minutes. I long for those days. That's for sure. Skratsky to key it in. And Skratsky's been doing a lot of scoring for these guys the last few games also, number 11. Here's Brown in the paint. Now he went baseline to Alessino. He stepped on the baseline and turned it over. Nice job by Johnny Mike. He knows he can go out of bounds. Alessino cannot because he's got the ball. So Johnny just stepped him out of bounds. The Rams have turned that turnover thing around here recently also. 190 to 188 right now, Mike, coming in tonight. Myers off the screen but didn't have a shot as the other 11. Skradsky on him. Here's Pacey. Out to Kreis. Oh, Kreis put it on the floor, drives in, and lays it in. He's got all six. Off to a quick start, and the Rams lead it 6-2. Now we have a foul on Highlands. It's on Cohen. Rudy Seneca, very demonstrative. We always know what the call is going to be, and we like that. Now Alessino sits down, and they bring Schaffhauser back in. I guess he has his shirt taken care of, properly tucked in. Patrick Keeley. Now they throw it away, and Rams force that one. Number 15, Patrick Keeley, also reported in. He didn't play the first time, I guess. No, I don't have him either. Token pressure by Freeport. Here's Cochran across midcourt now with Brown on him. Kicked it off to Myers. Out of Pacey. Left side to Cochran. Used the dribble up. Dom now gave up his dribble. Got in a little bit of trouble, but Cochran out at the B to settle things down. They get a call from the bench. I don't think he can call that play if they were wearing golf shirts. Stuff. <laughs> Cohen. Now to Pacey. Down underneath, and it's knocked out of bounds. Highlands keeps it. Schaffhauser did a good job to get in front of that in front of Johnny and make sure he didn't get the basketball. Three minutes in, first quarter, Highlands by four. Been a good time for a bounce pass there, Mike. Gonna get him in rhythm. Look at Johnny. Price off the inbound. Oh, rolled off. But Pacey is able to keep it. And whips it back out to Cochran. Left side, Myers. Here he comes. Off the rim. Rebound. Over to Pacey talk. picks up his second. Quickly. At, at 436, and quickly, Mason Swanger off the Highlands bench. And the fouls are 3 0. Highlands has committed the ball. Fouls on number 13, Dominic Pacey. 4 36 left first quarter. Highlands not putting a little token 1 2 press. And Schaffhauser brings it across, got into a trap, and Swanger did a good job getting a piece of it, and he stole the ball. Good job by Myers to help him out. Now Cochran, one on three, lays it in. He was determined that time to take it to the rack, and he did, and Freeport has to call a quick timeout. Four turnovers we forced so far. Beautiful. Wireless Zone, the largest independent Verizon wireless franchise in America, offering the most popular smartphones, tablets, connected devices, and the latest accessories, award-winning customer service. Stop in today and see what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Wireless Zone has 12 locations, including six in the AK Valley, Ram Fans, or Wireless Zone headquarters in the Toronto Heights at the Walmart Plaza or Pittsburgh Mills Mall next to J.C. Pennant and across Victoria's Secret. You can call them the Toronto Heights store at 724-224-459 or the Mills at 724-275-1154. From the Wireless Zone near you, simply by going to wiredazone.com. Thank you, John Mason. You betcha. Now the Rams off to a good start here so far with uh, scoring eight. Johnny with six, Luke with two. Mike Freeport comes in giving up 67 a game. That's the worst in the section. And, uh, and second worst, Dean, in 4A. Only only uh, Bell Vernon is allowed more points. Remember at the beginning of the year, Bell Vernon was ranked? Yes. And uh, not so much anymore. Yeah. Freeport's allowed over 84 times and over 90 twice. And they gave up 85 to Highlands, which is their highest output of the year. They want to run up tempo, Mike, but you got to play a little defense. So they always tell the younger kids, you want easy offense, play good defense. 
Freeport with the ball down six, just underway, halfway through the first quarter. Here's Brown, thought about it, but the Rams closed out on him quickly. Now to Schaffhauser. Back to Brown. Corner for Skradsky. His three's on the way. It's off the rim, and Cochran has the rebound. Looks like a little matchup, maybe a two. Another one and out, and Cohen's ahead of the field, and he lays it in. His first two, and the Rams lead it 10-2. Just talked about good defense, changing an easy offense. There's an example there. Cohen leaked out. They find him. Oh, Skradsky got baseline that time and got fouled by Christ. He got around Cohen. and Yep, well, that's what happens. You can beat baseline. Somebody has to come and help. And, and it's time. usually late. Yep. Johnny was late with the help. Skratsky in their line. Aiden Skratsky, a six-foot junior, scored nine points the first time these two teams played three weeks ago. First and off the back win. Seems like a lot longer than three weeks ago, doesn't it? January 4th. And that's exactly three weeks ago. Skratsky goes one out of two. Looking across the way, Mike, I see a lot of Hyams people. We fill up our side. We had to use part of theirs, huh? I see Fred Solis over there, the girls coach at Freeport, having some popcorn. See Mr. Loveland. Here's Kreiss. Now to Cohen in the paint. And They're going to no. call an offensive foul. I don't know about that I one. I don't either, right? Mark Emerling with the call. It's a foul on Cohen, and he's picked up two in a hurry. Yep. The fouls are 5 nothing Islands, and they lead the game 10-3. Cohen, Freeport basketball. Carol and Archer over there, Mike. Yeah, they are. Home game for them. Yeah. Coach Stosh's family has to go over there, too. I see Charlotte over there. Now they work Ooh. at baseline as Clark got it inside to Alicino, but he missed it. Freshman to freshman. Rebound Highlands Price. That was a heck of a pass, Mike. Here's Cochran. Around Hello. a Christ screen. Now to Myers in front of the students. All dressed in their beach attire tonight. Cochran stops and pops and scores. And the Rams lead it 12 to 3. They lead by nine. Luce gotten so strong, Mike, this past year. He's just overpowering people. Driving in is Schaffhauser. It won't go, but it'll go to the line. Six fouls to nothing. And that's three on Cohen. Sheesh. My question is, why was he out there to begin with? Well, and again, another example, Mason Swang uh, beat off the dribble. Cohen come over to help. Two over five fouls are help fouls, Mike. you got to get in front of the basketball. Schaffhauser at the line. He'll shoot a pair. First one is good. Schaffhauser hits the first. So it's 12-4. Antoine McDaniel into the Highlands lineup. And also Caleb Bradishak. They replace Christ and Cohen. 12-4 Highlands by eight. 240 left first quarter. Nick Patrician already also in the house yep. tonight, Dean. Radishak the rebound is Freeport. Two out of four so far. Crossover move by Cochran all the way to the basket. Takes Brown in. Missed the shot. Rebound Radishak had it. Lost it. They battle. Which way does it go? It goes the Highlands at 227. Or uh, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, Luke Paul took for it, but didn't get it, Mike. I misread um, Rudy's call there. Six nothing, Stosh says. You know, that'll get fixed here soon. There's a three from the corner, and it's off the rim. Rebound, Alessino threw it in wildly, and Swanger stole it. Out to Cochran. Rams with numbers. Cochran, right side to McDaniel. Back to Swanger, and he nails a three. And he can do that to you. He's got six on the year, Mike. That was a big one. 15 to four. Highlands by 11. Sounds like a home game in here. Yeah, Alicino. Really now to Clark. Clark dumped it into the paint. Alicino shot short. Rebound Cochran. Where's the foul there? My goodness. Yep. There isn't one, but it's Should Alan's ball. Oh, geez. Tuck in your shirt. You know, it's a good thing they're paying attention to the important stuff. Like whose shirt's tucked in. <laughs> My Rudy's goodness. Old school, Mike. That's the rule. I got no problem with it. The rules are rule. You don't tuck your shirt in, next thing you know, you're driving without a license, and let's go from there. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of football when they the get back one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's proven that he's, uh, Taking cons he's consistent. And he's he's calling it on both sides. Go ahead, Swanger, another three. It's yeah, down. Baby. 
Mason Schwanger, two for two. He's got the stroke. He did that against Knock, remember? He had 12 against Knock. I don't know, you know. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Have Scott Fowles returns it over. Joey touched on with the two. 117 left first quarter. Highlands leading at 18-4. Couldn't get a better start, Mike, huh? No, you really couldn't have. Other than the foul trouble that we've gotten into, uh, the rest of it's been just fine. Well, they're always fired up when they see Freeport on the other side and vice versa. Rams haven't lost in here. They're 2-0. Oh. New Jim. Myers, three ball. Here it comes. Bang! Another timeout for Wayne Greiser. Yep. 21 to 4, Highlands by 17. I feel bad for Wayne for two respects. One, they're playing man to man and we're hitting threes. Number two, if they go zone, they're going to continue to hit threes. What yep. do you do? That's right. Well, another Highlands basketball season can mean only one thing. Post game at the Anchor Inn. That'll Looking be in a, forward to it tonight. Mike. That'll be in a couple of hours. Yeah. Joe, Andy, and D continue that family tradition started by their parents way back in 1953. A great home cooked meal without having to do the cooking. Daily specials are available, as well as the Blue Plate Special, which, of course, always comes on a Blue Plate. Friday night's fish on a dish. You can even get liver and onions. I believe that's on Wednesday. The kitchen's open till 11, so there's no better way to celebrate a Highlands victory that with friends and family at the Anchor Inn. That's the Anchor Inn, Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. Welcome aboard. I got my 10,000 steps in at Planet Fitness, one of our sponsors, so I can go to Anchor Inn and like another one of our sponsors and, and enjoy and need, some of those calories. And, and need 10,000 more. Yeah. I do support our sponsors. I know everybody else does, too. Here's Thank Brown. Oh, great defense by Radishak. This took the ball away from him. Tried to lead it up to Myers, but, oh, look at Cochran come to get it. Luke quickly whips it over to the corner, but it's stolen. Nicely by Stradsky. Got it to Clark. Uh, the basket's good, and they call the foul on Swanger. Rudy wasn't buying it, huh? Well, I don't buy any of what he just called there, either. First of all, the, there, there's no such thing as continuation on a Friday night in a high school game. And second uh, no, of all, get a technical. no, it's a warning. It's a bench warning. Well, here's the good news. He's made sure everybody knows he's here. Yeah, Mike. The other day, hour and five minutes, never knew the guys were in the place. Tonight, we said Rudy Seneca's name five times. If that was his mission. It's he, a call. He's got it. Tried it for the three-point play. is missed by Clark. And the rebound now it's stolen as Schaffhauser gets it back. By the way, the fouls are 7 0. Steal by Myers, but a steal back by Woronski. Now the Rams get it back. Here comes Car or Cochran with the lay. He, he tried for the dunk. He tried to dunk it. He did. We're going to have to check the replay on that one, Mike. Uh, it may have went down. He may have dunked. 23 to 6. And the Golden Rams smell blood in the water, Mike. Now Brown steps back for a long three at the end of the quarter, and it's no good. And the first quarter belongs to Highlands. 23-6, to six, first period. And that's a quarter where they were hit for seven fouls, and Freeport didn't commit any. I guess if you give up 23 points, you might not have got close enough to anyone. Anyway. Maybe. I'll tell you what, very impressive quarter by the Golden Rams. Saw Glenn down there earlier. B&J Sports located at 1605 Freeport Road in the Toronto Heights. Been outfitting our local team and great sports fans the AK Valley for more than 45 years. When it comes to all your sporting good needs, look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch. Customized high school jackets, team uniforms, trophies, plaques, you name it, they got it. You can't beat the service at B&J Sports. Open 9 to 5.30 weekdays, Saturdays 9 till noon. Stop in and see them there. Give Glenn a call at 724 226 2762. Five decades says it all. BJ Sports. Speaking of five decades, Mike, if you are a senior citizen in the Highland School District and you have your gold card, we've added a game. Thursday, February 7th, will be a home game. We've got Nazareth Prep coming in. Pretty good team. they got two kids, 6'5, six, 6'7. Six, Chuck DeBoer is named that senior citizen tonight. Free admission with your gold card. They're even going to throw a hot dog in. Don't have to make 
dinner that That's night. right. So please, all the seniors, please come out Thursday, February 7th. That's a rescheduled game or a added game made up for the Johnstown game that we lost because of weather. We have a great senior citizen falling, so they're going to honor them and give them a free hot dog to boot. If you don't have a gold card, contact the administration building. They'll make sure you get one. And you have plenty of time to get one before that game, which is still a couple of weeks away. So here's Jalen Brown. Highlands by 17. Brown had it tipped away. Rams with good defense from behind. And Highlands team is fired up tonight. Yep. Luke and Johnny, six points apiece. Megan Swedeger, six. All balance scoring, Mike. Now from the corner, the three is jacked up and missed. Rebound tip and Price has it. Out to Cochran. Rams by 17 with a basketball. Just underway, second quarter. Here's Kreis right side. And, Mike, one thing they did by jumping out 23-6, took the beach bums right out of it, huh? Yeah, they're still having fun over there, but it's not <laughs> as much. <laughs> now Cochran. Drives into the paint, kicks it over. Right side, Myers. Here it comes. It's off the rim. Rebound, Kreis. Weak side. What's the call? <laughs> he called an offensive foul. I think he called... He called Johnny Christ for a hook. Really? That's his second foul. That's eight to zero. Fouls. Allen's has committed eight. Freeport's committed none. I believe Rudy Senek has called all but two. All but two. Oh, it's amazing. We haven't had Rudy for a while. And I don't see him appearing in any of our home games in the future either. Two-three zone, Mike. They're gonna have to go play a little bit of zone now because of all the foul. Baronski had it stolen by Myers, and he knocked it out of bounds. Freeport will keep possession. 6:50 left first half. Islands by 17. That's the scary part. Cohen with three fouls. Pacey with two. Christ with two. And all three of those guys are on the bench. Here's Brown out top. Right side to Clark. Now Woronski. Back to Vinny. Here it comes from three. It's long. Rebound. Good job positioning. One thing about the zone, it's it's harder to rebound, actually, and the Rams did a good job that time. Now out of the corner is Swanger for three. It's another one. Three times three is nine, and it's 26 to six. Man on fire, Mason Swanger. Now a three is shot and missed. The tip is no good. The rebound to Clark puts up a runner. It's no good. And Cochran basically playing center for Highlands now. He is. He's our biggest guy. He's, he's, he's turned into Magic Johnson. 6-2, yep. Magic played point guard at 6-9, Mike, huh? And, and he played center at 6-9 in the finals because yeah. Kareem was out. Which Mc- they won, too. Yes, they did. Here's McDaniel. Beat the Sixers that year. Right side to Swanger. He's thinking about it, but Vinny Clark gets out on him. Why wouldn't he? They're yelling shooter now when he gets the ball. That's oh, good. spin-a-rama by Cochran. It won't go. Rebound McDaniel. Find some room. And one. It, and Finally. Wait a minute. And listen to this crowd. Yeah. Freeport's committed a foul. The old Bronx cheer there, Mike. I call it the Ducktown cheer. <laughs> Antoine McDaniel will shoot a couple. He's a 74% foul shooter. The Rams' first trip to the line tonight. Vinnie Clark, his first foul. His that's only re- foul. That's redundant. Yes. <laughs> McDaniel will get another. It's 27 to 6. Sound like a football score. Second win by Antoine is a grazer, and Schaffhauser has the rebound. Rams by 21. Schaffhauser forecourt, pair of number fives. The Swanger shut him down. He gets it back. Now to Woronski with a high dribble. Back to Schaffhauser. Drives in. Good defense by uh, McDaniel, there and there's a travel. Good defense by McDaniel. Or by uh, Kale Bradishak. I'm sorry. Chicken or egg, Mike, because he did travel, but he could have got fouled, too. Nine to four now turnovers. Five fifteen left first half. Highlands by twenty one. And the defense thing continues as Freeport has six points. Yeah, it's usually been second half defense tonight, it's first half defense. Cochran's is gonna step back and let it go. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound is to Jalen Brown. Brown got shut off, and they're going to call Brown with the arm, and that's an offensive foul. Again, good positioning by Swanger. 
Definitely did it, Mike. Needless to say, the Rams aren't in the bonus, so they'll key it in. <laughs> <laughs> And McDaniel will do it in front of the Highlands bench. Caleb Radishek tying the shoes over there. Has he got a varsity point yet, Mike? He has great shoes, too. I don't believe so, no. We're still working on that. Yeah, we're ready. I'll tell you for sure in a second. I don't have one that either. Nope, he doesn't. Seven no, games. he has two, three to three different times. It might have been last year, too. Yeah, those are seven games this year, no varsity points on my But he has them from last season. Swanger drives in all the way. Runner, teardrop off the rim, and Schaffhauser the rebound. Freeport looking for their first points of the quarter. Here's Brown all the way through. Nice Tipped off a hand. They the tip ball. it. It's loose. Alessino had it, lost it, and Myers the other way. Myers three on one all the way to the basket. No. Oh, Luke was rebound. Again, Luke was up Mike. there again, yeah. but the there's McDaniel. Back to Myers for three oh. off the rim. Hard to shoot at a moving target, Mike. The rim was still moving. It, it kind of was. Here's Brown. And Lucky uh, foul, and the basket's good. Yeah. Basket and foul. Jalen Brown gets two. Over the line for three. Swanger picks up the foul. His second. Now that one, Mike, was not continuation. That was a good good call. Yeah, he was in the act when, he, when he, uh, he he was putting his arm was going into the air. And I'd say that was legit. A couple of substitutions now is Colin Gasparic, 35, comes in, and also 15, Patrick Keeley. And Brown completes the three-point play. He's got seven to lead Freeport. 27 and nine. Cochran all the way to the basket. No foul there. Got a hammer. Yeah, Highlands can't believe it. Yep. Here's Brown back the other way. All the way to the basket. He's fouled. Shane Brown head back to the line. Carter Leary going to check in the lineup for the Golden Rams. Mike, I McDaniel picked up out. I, I thought I saw something there. Quit on the loop one. So, Jalen Brown will shoot two. He'll get one more. Schaffhauser back in. So is Carter Leary for Highlands. Swagger going to sit down with his two fouls. So. Great work by him, hitting three from long distance. Brown will get another, 27 to 9. That's good. He's got five, six, I'm sorry. And it's 27 to 10. Now, Radishak put it in the paint. Now he puts it up, missed it. Rebound, Brown. Rim rejected. Oh, now there's a charge. Yeah, a travel. A travel. Hey, well, didn't give us a charge, huh? Oh, well. Well, I guess the good news is Highlands get the ball. At 3.48 first half, they lead it 27 to 10. Team fouls are two for Freeport and at ten. least 10. Uh, at least. That's what they stopped counting on the board. It's 10 on the button. Okay, good. Cochran, pull it past to the corner. Here comes Myers. It's long. Rebound McDaniel. Good job to get in there and get it. Put it up and in. Offensive rebound in the putback for Antoine. He's got three. 29 to 10. 19 point Highlands lead. Schaffhauser into a three, and it's good. That's his first of the night. He's got four. The lead Quickly now, Myers. Highlands will call time at 3.14 to go in the first half, and they lead it 31 to 13. The nice thing about that, Mike, is they score, you score. 30-second time out here. Well, it's basketball season in full swing. You've probably been putting off that much-needed work around the house. Well, why not let the pros at Beanie Home Renovations install that new kitchen, bathroom, game room, or addition to make your home a winner? They have over 100 years of combined experience. And owner Brian E and his team of professionals at Beanie guaranteed that your job will be completed on time exactly the way you want it. And in plenty of time to have that championship celebration. Customer service is their top priority, so why not give Brian a call right now, 724-351-3172 for a free estimate. Or visit their Facebook page, Beanie Home Renovations, where the bee is always busy. Mike, congratulations.
congratulations to the Borough Bucks. See what they did the other day? I didn't. They were down eight points with a minute to go. They sent the game into overtime, and in overtime they win by nine, 49-38. Oh, that wacky Sean Venice. And guess what? Logan Bitar had 39 of the 49. Holy moly. That's a three by Woronski there out from outside. His first three of the night, and it's 31-16. Less than three to go first half. How about Logan, huh? Yep, against South Allegheny. Big win. The Gators. And for such a low-scoring game, it's score eight in the last minute. Well, great. Cochran is just getting beat up in there, and now they foul Radishak, and he'll shoot two at 244. Foul, Luke Cochran is absorbing a lot of contact yeah. down there. So this yeah. one, yeah. Radishak is going to shoot, I believe, his first two of the season. Yep. Yeah. All right. Get on the scoreboard here, Kevin. Yes, it is. It's official. 32-16. The Rams have doubled them up. 2.44 to go first half. Two for two. Two, two for number two. Deuces are wild. 33-16. Oh, Cochran, what a great job to pick his pocket. Jalen Brown. Now Luke gets it back. Drives into the paint all the way through, up and under and scores. They could try to take the charge, Mike, but Luke got maneuvered him. He's got eight. He did it on both ends there. Yes, he did. 35-16. Shaf Hauser gives it back out. Oh, Brown. Oh, look at that push off there, Mike. Yeah, he did yeah. before also. Shaf Hauser. Rim no good. Rebound Woronski. Here's Gasparic. Puts it on the floor, and now got it back to Woronski. Clock winds to two minutes left, first half. Highlands 35, Freeport 16. Brown threw up a wild one and missed it. Comes back out. Woronski into the paint. Now Sheff, I thought he was going to take that. Goes in, gets contact, and gets fouled. He'll shoot a couple at 153. Carter Leary going to get his first. Fouls on 42, Carter Leary. Good swanger with two also? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is Chef Hauser, who had the big night against Silence three weeks ago. 26 in that game, four in this game, Mike. Make it five. He's got five, and it's 35 17. Second one's long, and McDaniel has it. Freeport on the one out of two train tonight. 35-17, Highlands with the ball and an 18-point lead. With, with people on the bench, Cohen hasn't played in a while, and neither has Johnny Christ. And nice job. Blew up Radishak the goes right by, but missed the layup. They battle for it, and, gonna get and now Radishak's going to get a block in the backcourt as he got Chef out. And again, they're over the boat, double bonus. They'll shoot two the rest of the way. Mike, they call their cheering section a swarm over there, and I'm telling you, they came loaded for bear tonight, but high, and it just took them right out of the game. Well, that's the best way to neutralize a crowd is to get a lead. That's as far back as time as they've been playing sports. <laughs> That fouls are too strong on the first. He'll get another. He's two of five from the line. Big cheer for Braden Clark, the 5'9 junior, number two. I think it's Vinny's brother. Oh, no. Tuck your shirt in. <laughs> another one. Is he going to get me? <laughs> yeah, you better watch Mine's out. Yeah. I, I want everyone. I am not having my shirt tucked in. I'll have you know mine's tucked in. And guess what? I'm good Neither, to go. Mr. Stobert doesn't either. I'm good. And when he's at the, he's the hired muscle, so they're going to have to deal with him. Out top to Brown from three. It's good. First in the double figures with 11. 35-20. Cochran, high posting it to Radishak. Well, the good news, we'll be well rested, Mike. 110 to go. Off the screen, Cochran with a dipper. Rebound is tipped. It's out of bounds, and it's Highlands ball. And 104. Coaches versus cancer tonight. All the coaching staffs are wearing their tennis shoes tonight. And uh -oh. that uh, lazy cause. Almost got picked off. 
Yeah, Wayne Greiser's father, the coach of Freeport, might just pass away from cancer. Oh, there's a nice play by Cochran to drive all the way in and lay it in. He's got 10, and it's 37-20. Yeah. Oh, kicked out to the corner. That's Braden Clark off the front rim. They tip it. That should be Highland's ball. It is. Mr. Emmerling and I saw it the same way. Yep, so both staffs agreed to wear their they get the tennis, tennis shoes, shoes tonight. on tonight, right? They're going to put Tom Pacey in to replace Radishak as the Rams go a little offense here at 42 seconds. I got mine on, too. I'm wearing my Jordans. I got my new balance. And these are old Jordans. I got my Braun ones on. Mine are Ohio State colors. <laughs> Braun and gold. All the way. Here is Leary. Out to McDaniel. 28 seconds. Looks like the Rams are going to play for one. They also have the arrows. So they can have the two for, yeah. and there it is. A double dribble. Uh, surprise. Best laid plans, it huh? It took that long, yeah. Well, so long between dribbles, they almost forgot to dribble. Exactly. I think that's exactly what happened. Only well, the fifth time in this turnover, Mike. Oh, well, now we do the defensive yeah. part as Radishak will come in for Pacey. And Matt Alcino comes in for Freeport. 13 to 5. And Alcino's got the uh, height advantage without Christ in there. 37 to 20, 24 seconds to go. Possession arrow favors Highland. Here's Brown, going to dribble it down, 12 seconds. Corner to Alessino. Out, back to Brown, now at five. They're not aware of the clock. Woronski, two, he has to hurry up and let it go, and he missed everything, and that's going to end the half. That is the end of the first half here at the Hive. And there's your story. Highlands 37, Freeport 20. We'll be back with stats and more right after this. Welcome back to halftime. The Rams leading Freeport at the break, 37 to 20. Dean, you have some numbers for us? I'm sorry, go ahead. I have a big one for you. York 39, Knock 29 at halftime. How do you like that? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I made Doug Galassi check it twice, by the way. <laughs> Luke Cocker leads with 10. We're in foul trouble early. Johnny Cocker. Uh, Johnny Cocker. <laughs> First time all year. <laughs> Ring the bell. Everybody drinks. <laughs> Johnny Grace has six. He has two fouls also. I'm going to have Johnny Cocker complete his case. Seth Cohen with two. Mason Swanger, big nine off the bench. Corey Myers with five. Antoine McDaniels with three for the Gold Rams. They lead here 37-20. Third quarter brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Individualized training for third graders all the way up through varsity and beyond. They tried to loop it into Christ. It won't go. On Instagram, Micah Mason, 22. Great job by Skratsky there, Mike. He went up against Johnny. He had position used. Now Brown drives to the basket and lays it in. He's got 13 lead all scores, Mike. By the way, uh, Knock gets five three-pointers in the third quarter. They lead Yawk by nine. So, for everybody that was all excited. There's Myers with two, and the Rams. Well, thanks for bursting everybody's bubble. That's seven for Corey, and it's 39-22. Uh, that was short live. Yeah. I'm sure uh, I'm sure Ron McNabb was very calm and collected at halftime. Here's Alessino up top, and he what are they gonna call underneath? We have a foul. They're gonna get Luke. I don't know if Skratsky checked to make sure his shirt was tucked in. <laughs> Which is the most important thing. Oh, Seth Cohen's got four fouls. Is that what happened? With an elbow? Yikes. So Cohen's got four, and his uh, minutes played are going to suffer this evening. <laughs> no doubt about it. Now three is missed, and Myers has a rebound. Numbers two, Mike. Myers now. They lost the handle, but Pacey's able to retrieve it. Now goes back to Cochran. The Rams will set things up. We played a minute, third quarter. Highlands by 17. Cochran oh, almost stepped into a three. Now, oh, nice pass by Swanger into Cochran in the paint with a little runner, and it's down. He's got 12, and the Rams lead at 41-22. Best you will report had Luke Cochran slamming that, Mike. We'll have to check the videotape. We'll be getting a slam. Oh, ankles are broken. Bodies are down. Johnny's hurt. No call. Rams get the basketball, though. And Cochran had it stolen by Alessino, and Luke stole it right back. And Swanger will retrieve it backward. 
And the Rams will reset things here. Johnny's banging in there with Alcina. Here's Myers out top. Alcina grabbed his hand that time, Mike. He wasn't letting go. Thought he wanted to ask him out. <laughs> Ooh, shot by Cochran off the rim is no good. And the rebound to Schaffhauser. Got to the 10, couldn't put it down. All the way in. Kicked it to uh, double dribble now with Vinnie Clark. And the Rams will get the basketball back at 5.52. 19-point Highlands lead. That's her biggest of the night, by the way. I think Rose Mills called that one, Mike. She, she probably did. Wayne Greiser's lost the jacket down to our left. Of course, Mike Beal, a longtime head coach here, now has slid down a seat. He's Wayne's assistant. I love Rich Falter and Sean Bennett. Right. Rich McCure down there. Here's Myers. Corden did a nice job of checking his, where he was on the court. What's the call? They're going to call Cochran. Stosh can't believe it. They call Cochran for an offensive foul. My goodness. I didn't see Luke extend any, did you? No. I saw a flop is what I saw. Yeah. But I, that, and that's not a criticism. <laughs> Go ahead and flop if you think you can get the call. I don't have a problem with it. It's, it's up to the officials to determine that. But when you see defenders run into offender's body and fall down, how do you make that call? He just ran up to Luke and fell down. Cochran got the rebound, let it out to Pacey. Pacey, what are they going to call? So he yeah, Pacey five. was in contact with the out-of-bounds line with the basketball. That's a Highlands turnover at 5.02. Very sloppy start to the second half. Eight Highlands turnovers, 15 for Freeport, Mike. Christ will get a rest. McDaniel in. No, he's not getting a rest. He's just getting a talk. <laughs> now what? Antoine McDaniel did not have his shirt tucked in. Amazing, huh? Was that sigh audible? <laughs> Here's Brown. Well, the good news is Johnny goes back in. I think Coach Guys would rather have Antoine. Here's Woronski right side. Now back out to Alessino with Price on him away from the basket. With a spin move. Now Woronski back out to Jalen Brown. Rams is playing tough defense right now. Cochran comes out now to get Skradsky. Right side, Schaffhauser for three. It's too strong, but oh, Woronski had a layup, and he kicked it back out. Here comes Brown, corner, and Woronski takes a three. It's off the front rim, and Kreiss has the rebound. They tip it and steal it back. Good job by Freeport to be active there defensively. Skradsky, halfway through the third. Highlands by 19. Highlands only scored four points so far, Mike. Yeah, Freeport scored and, twice. Yep. They're Good job by Don Pacey there. And Highlands gets it back. Last Another touch. bronze cheer. Last touch by, by Woronski. You see the student section over there. All Here they come. They're still ready for the beach. Coming in. Spring break's coming. Yeah, like two months away. <laughs> Pacey all the way to the basket. They let him do it. Offensive five. Foul's on number 13, Dominic Pacey. Three, four, ball. That's his third. Wow. Did you see that, Mike? I didn't, Dean. I didn't at all. I'm, I, I am obviously watching a different game than these guys are. Here's Brown. Steps back and lets a three go, and that's down. 14 for him. 16-point Highland lead. Here's Basie. Now to Cochran. Rams led by 17 at the break. Cochran loops it down low, but a bad pass. Intercepted by Skradsky. He jumped the route. Now to Brown. Can Freeport make a little run here? Brown almost left it behind him, went in against Christ and laid it in nicely. That's a good move by the senior. 16 for him, and it's 41-27, a 14-point lead. And that's how you do it, Mike. You create a defensive turnover, and you take it to offense. 
Cochran in the paint. Finally. Now what is it? He changed his mind. He put his hand behind his head to call a charge, Joey oh, Touchstone oh, oh. did. And then he changed his mind. Well, Luke was fouled a minute he got across half court and nothing was called there. And that's where the play should have been stopped. But again, I'm watching a different game. Alessino picks up the foul. And we're and taking three foul shots tonight? Four. Four. And we're three for four. Yeah. Cochran's first one of the night is good. Lucas, 77% free throw shooter. And he's in with 13 points. He leads the way for Highland so far. They lead it by 15. Shooting 62 as a team. Cochran, two for two. Rams five for six, 43-27. Here's Brown. Drives in, got blocked by McDaniel, it's loose. Oh, nice play by Alessino to get it. Are they gonna call it a good basket? They are. No, nice. on the floor. Nope. On the floor. No basket. That's your third time they've well, it's not going to be an and one this time, but they have two prior to this. Corey Myers gets his first foul. Corey Myers. Fires are, fouls are 4-1 Highland second half. I have Freeport with three fouls tonight. Am I close to that? Uh, four. Four. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess that up. Clark, Brian, Alessino, Orozki, one apiece. Thank you. Freeport will key it in. That's four. In 22 minutes. They're allowed to go back court yep. and get that and Brown thing, does. Don't, don't take yeah, you don't want to touch it first and then take the chance of going back together. You no, know, Brown's the only senior on the floor, Mike. That's correct. That's out of 10, folks. That's not yep. just their team. <laughs> oh, now we got a foul underneath. They're going to get Cochran for throwing Alessino down. Ooh. No, I'm not going to criticize that one because I didn't. I wasn't looking down there. His second, yeah, we always saw his Alessino go down. I was looking at the ball. <laughs> Timeout Highlands as Stosh wants to talk it over. I don't blame him. Many, Very confusing night here tonight. Many, well, I know it's not confusing. Well, it can be, and that's car insurance quotes. Yes. Well, if you want to be not confused, you want to stop into Nationwide with Mel and John at the Boucher Agency because they make insuring your new teen driver stress-free and not confusing. Make sure to ask about Nationwide Young Driver Discount when you compare no one beats the Boucher's rates for young drivers. Call your Nationwide agents, John and Mel, 724 224 4300 and to help you choose the coverage that's right for your family they have evening and saturday hours for your convenience remember in the ak valley the bouchers and nationwide are on your side mike we said yawk was uh hosting knock tonight dairy's at mount pleasant that takes care of the section and what we thought was going to be a big upset tonight obviously has turned very quickly for the knock knights they yeah, fell by nine at the half yikes well, five three-pointers. That'll do it. And the Ox's not a high-scoring team, so. Jackets key it in. They Wide go right open. side for three, and it's missed and by Woronski. Oh, we're going to get Alcina. Uh, uh, That's uh, five on Freeport for the entire night. So if you you can still count those on one hand. <laughs> Two six, 17 remaining third quarter, 43-27. Highlands leads it. Here's Cochran four court. Right side to Swanger. Swanger drives into the paint, goes in with a left-hander. Boy, he got hammered. Christ got the rebound, though, and puts it in. That's Shawnee's first basket since the first quarter because he's been saddled with foul trouble. And it's 45-27, back to 18. Good news, only has two. No, there you go. Offensive foul against Freeport. I was careful when I said two, Mike, because I thought it could have been three if they wanted to call. A defensive foul. Skratsky picks, up picks his it first. up, and guess what? You could take that other glove off if you want to yeah. keep counting those Freeport fouls. That's six. It's chilly out there. That's three second half. Here's Cochran four court. 140 to go, third quarter. Luke drives all the way in. Off the glass, no good. Got his own rebound. Fought and Brown fouled. for it yep. and got fouled for his trouble. Five white. Schaffhauser, really? Yeah. His first. Okay. Spreading him around, huh? Yep. Cochran will shoot two at 136. Not like the other day, Mike, huh? Hour five minutes, two foul shots out. Cochran gets the first to roll in. 
Yeah, we've already gone 53 minutes of runtime. Hmm. We were halfway to Dan Curran by that time. Good folks at Comcast give us an hour and a half, so we're good to go. Two out of two for Cochran. He's four for four from the line. And the Rams, seven for eight from the strike. 47-27, their biggest lead of the night. Off the screen, that's where Nice Ronsky. job by defense by Luke. Well, Schaffhauser with a man down and put it in. Two. I think that was a good call. He's no got call. Seven, yeah. Steal by Woronski as he Stradsky as he jumped up to steal the Aaron pass. Gasparic out top. No, Schaffhauser walked, my goodness. Back out to Gasparic. And now a three is missed, and McDaniel has the rebound. I guess all's well that ends well. All their passing lanes are filled, Mike. That's a good thing. Cochran all the way to the basket. No. How did that not go in? But he'll shoot two anyway. That's 54 seconds. They did a great job of filling the pass lanes, Mike. Spacing was perfect. Worski had no choice but the foul. Wernoski. Cochran four out of four from the stripe tonight. He's got 16 points to lead the way for Highlands. Mike, we mentioned how crazy it is in 4A. Remember how Beaver is tearing everybody up? Oh, yeah. They lost to Beaver Falls the other day, 72-51. Go figure. Section 1 still holding down the top three spots. Ambridge, Quaker Valley, Newcastle all in action tonight. Luke, one out of two. He's got 17. We got Ambridge at Newcastle tonight, Mike. One again, three. 48-29. Oh. oh, nice play by Brown, but he can't get it to go. And the Rams have it. Pacey saved it and then threw it away. And tomorrow you got knock against Quaker Valley at Montour on Saturday. Is it Montour a two-day event? Yes. We'll yes. be there Sunday. We'll be there Lincoln Sunday at Park. 6 o'clock for Lincoln Park. Number one in the state in 3A, Mike. How you like that? Now they loop it into Brown. But they got upset the other day. Alaquit would beat him 77-72. Uh, 38 seconds. Brown. Sheffhauser right side. 30 seconds. 19-point lead for the Rams. Schaffhauser did a little Gene Kelly in there, and the Rams get the basketball. I like our numbers, Mike, again. The lays filled. All the way through. Lays it up. What's the call? It's a foul. Cochran will shoot two. You keep filling those lanes, Mike. Luke can just drive in there and shoot foul shots all day. Great job by the Gold Rams getting out tonight. That's on Colin Gasparisic. And Cochran will shoot two more. He's been there a lot in this quarter. And it just goes back to Mike, like I said, feeling the lanes. They have to foul. Can't stop the ball because the lanes are filled. 49-29. Rams can take their biggest lead if Luke drains this one. 17 at the half, now up to 20. Second one on the way, and also good. He's nine out of ten. And his last—that's almost. That's almost. Line. That's almost ninety percent. Fifty to twenty-nine. Here's Brown. Eleven seconds. They have the ball and the air. They get a two for Highlands has their biggest lead at twenty-one. Alessino kicked it back to Brown. Cochran nearly stole it. Brown got to let it go at the buzzer. It's no good. Good job by Swanger to get the rebound and end the third quarter. Highlands after three leads it. 50 to 29. Well, trivia time is A&B Pizza time. Call 724-224-5311 to order your A&B Pizza now. Well, Mike, trivia time tonight, it just says trivia. It doesn't say basketball trivia. So I'm going to go a little off script with you. And there's a method in my madness, but okay. stay with me. It's a two-part question. I got you. If you get any one of the two parts, you get a dollar off your pizza. All right. Okay? Part one. How many men have walked on the moon? Oh, my goodness gracious. You're telling me you're going to do better at part two? He's I'm going to I'm going to go with 14. Well, that was darn close, Mike. 
12. Okay. I had one too many missions. <laughs> That's I went two at a time. I went one too many missions. Here's part two. This is right in your bread basket. You're going to love this one. How many men have scored a run off Mario Rivera in the postseason? I remember, 12 will walk on the moon. Oh, less runs have been scored against Mo in the postseason. That I can promise you. I can name them. <laughs> um, I don't know how many they are, but I could start by naming them. I could start with Sandy Alomar in 1997, but I digress. Um, how many runs did he give up? His ERA was less than one. I know that. I'm going to go with eight. Since you were so close on the moon, I'm going to give the dollar off. Okay. okay. 11. 11. Now, again, put that in perspective. More men have walked on the moon than have scored against Mira Rivera in the postseason. Yeah, I thought he was, you'd like that being such a big Yankee. He's pretty unbelievable. First ever, Schiffhauser's three is no good. Tipped, and Kreiss has it. Uh -oh. And Johnny's got a two on one. Uh -oh. Johnny, yes, sir! Yes, sir. 52-29. Did I do that right? It's kind of. <laughs> Myers a rebound. He doesn't have that job anymore, The Rock. Here's Cochran all the way through. Runner in the lane. Up Get around and good. Go. And now it's 54-29. And now what's the call? Yeah, time out. Time Wayne Greiser. Well, winter is here. In case you haven't noticed, we've had ice, we've had snow, we've had cold, we've had freezing rain, we've had it all. There's no better time than right now to stop into Highland Tire and Highland Integrity Alignment and see why they've been voted the best place to buy tires in the AK Valley for 26 consecutive years and the best place for an oil change the last 24. I don't know what those people were thinking the other two. Family owned and operated <laughs> since 1961. Highland Tire offers one of the largest and most complete inventories of tires in the Pittsburgh area. And as always, if you don't see it on site, they'll order it for you. Visit HighlandTire.com or give them a call. In Trenum at 724-224-9222. In Natrona Heights at 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment 724-224-5900. Highland Tire. Service. Integrity. Price. We deliver. And if you think it's cold now, Mike, minus two is going to be high next week. Yeah, I saw that. Once it gets to like below 20, it all feels the same. Everybody's saying there might not be school. I said, what, are they having school outside? We always had school. I don't know about it. Yeah, we else. did. Yep. By the way, remember that dollar off your pizza, A and B, 2418 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. Give them a call today, 724-224-5311. Tell them Mike and Mike sent you, and you'll get a dollar off. Nice hot pizza on a fridge at night, Mike. You bet. Huh? There's nothing company. better, and you don't have to cook. Works for me. Freeport with a ball down 25. This is Brown out against Cochran. Now, Skratsky steps back and lets a three go, and Kreiss has the rebound. Cochran with the ball. Rams with a 25-point lead. Here's Pacey. Johnny Underneath wide the open. Kreiss, he's and fouled. Foul. Good job by Skratsky to stop the basket. Johnny Kreiss will shoot two. 6.41 remaining. Islands looking to win their fifth straight. Go to 11 and 4 and 6 and 1 in section. And we'll have the showdown battle with their next section game Tuesday night at Knock. Johnny hits the first. And the Rams have been deadly from the line tonight. They've only missed once. Yep. Luke, uh, twice. Antoine missed one. Luke and Johnny missed one. Yeah. one right. Or Luke missed one. That's right. Announcer's coming. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry, Johnny. I didn't mean that. That was a misspeak. Here's Brown. 55-29. Out of Schiffhauser. Oh, that's a walk. At least. Somebody call it. There we go. Yeah, Luke did. <laughs> 26 point Highlands lead. Didn't expect this, Mike. But the Freeport kids are young, and that happens to young kids once in a while. Cohen right, left side. Here's Johnny. He caught it, though. Flipped it back to Cohen, but it went past him. Give Gasper credit for sticking in there, Mike. You know that. Brown's three's off the back rim. Oh, nice job by Cohen to tip it to the corner, but Woronski saved, or Skradsky saved it. Threw it off the board and out of bounds. Islands will get it at six minutes and nine seconds left. 
Yeah, the Rams haven't lost in this building. This will be 3-0. and The friendly confine. I guess. Of the Hive. Pacey. Against pressure. Now to Cochran. Dom has a score time, Mike. He's had foul trouble. Pacey right side in front of the coach. I think uh, Stosh got a new balance on, too. Oh, nice play by Pacey to the basket. On cue, Mike. How you like that? So they said he didn't score. Dom took it to Sometimes the there's a reverse announcer's curse, and I yeah. think you just hit Dom with that one there. 57-29. 29, Mike. What a defensive effort, huh? Guess Bersick nearly lost the handle. Now to Clark. Back out to Skradsky at the B. Pair of number 11s with Myers on him. Skradsky goes ball all the way in. by Myers. Off the foot of... I think it's Freeport's ball. Yeah, it is. Myers, yep. And Johnny double teamed. He came in from the front side, and Skradsky had nowhere to go. Now they work it in and throw it out of bounds. Nice got it off the hands of Alessino, and the Rams will get possession. Yeah, he had nobody to throw it in, so Mike, the five count was coming up on him. Good job again defensively by Hines, Mike. What an effort here this evening. Yeah, Freeport he, averages 61 points a game, yeah, and they have that. 29 points right now. There's the numbers Cochran again, Cochran all the way through. Yeah. He gets fouled. He'll shoot a couple at 5'11". Mike, we're talking about Freeport. If you want to get a good workout if you have that pizza, let me recommend in Freeport at their middle school, the old middle school down by the football field, they do CrossFit in there. Okay. You ever see CrossFit? Oh, yeah. It's a heck of a workout. And if you're interested in any type of CrossFit exercises, you can call Judy and Rob at 724-448-4437. Guess who one of their instructors is? I don't know who. Beth Karaitza Brancato. There you go. Remember? Jeff? I remember, Beth. Her uh, daughter played basketball with my niece a couple years oh, ago. Oh, is that right? Bud was his sister, yeah. She's a champion swimmer. She's a. She was nearly the million dollar trivia question. That's I almost right, got yeah. it right. And I had the man in my pocket. Here's Johnny. Oh, oh he missed it. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, he, Mike. Well, if there's any consolation, that's as high as he's ever gotten up I, there. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Let's try again. Here's Cochran back the other way. Cochran drives all the way in, put up a runner, won't I go. Went. Rebound, Cohen lost it out of bounds. Rams have doubled him up, 58 to 29. And we can't call that failure to launch, Mike, because he launched. <laughs> no, if he could have got, if he'd have gotten any higher, he'd have been the 13th man on the moon, or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, the 14th. 13th, yeah. Now on YouTube, Mike, stop it right there. See how high he is above the rim. This is Woronski, out top for Braden Clark. We're also going to have to examine Luke's one in the first half to see if that was it. We the vestibule says yes. That's above the rim and out yeah, of it hit the yep. guide wire up top there, and it's out of bounds and it's Highlands ball at 4:23 to go. I never knew why they had to put that guide wire in front. Couldn't work behind. It's on a pulley system up there, and. I guess they pull up for certain events. My engineering degree didn't cover that. <laughs> Here's Kreis. Now to Cohen. Oh, nice pick and roll, and Pacey yeah. lays it in. That's a great job there. Four great points job, for Dom, Cohen, all, yeah. all here in the fourth. It's 60 to 29. Nearly a steal, but walking around, it's Woronski. Goes all the way to the basket and nicely puts it down. He's got five, and it's 60 to 31. Pacey, Christ, he traveled. That time, Mike, he had no place to land. He was clear for takeoff. <laughs> yeah. Johnny will get arrested, 346. Great job by Johnny here tonight. Rams have spread the scoring around tonight. Now Gasparsic lost it, but Myers got the last hand on it. Great job by Mason Swanger tonight, Mike, in that first half. He's going to check in Speaking right of. now. Yes, he um, really gave us a lift when the uh, game was in doubt with everybody in foul trouble. Cochran will get a rest now at 341. That might be all for him tonight, too. He's going to leave with 22. Quick turnaround. to get a game Sunday and then Tuesday. 
Lincoln Park at Montour, 6 p.m. Sunday night. Yep. And we whistle underneath. Away from the ball. Away from the basketball. I think they get Myers. Yep. No. No. Uh oh. And the technical to go with it. Uh oh. And he. Just has a couple hundred words for uh -huh. too. He's gonna, he's gonna leave the building. My, and Wait, well, I'm not saying he didn't do it, but you gotta be looking for it. But, you know. All right, speaking of looking for something, if you want 4% of your money, guarantee, no questions asked, Contact Joe Lucchino and his son Joseph at the Lucchino Insurance or Financial Group. They've been serving the AK Valley for decades. Lucchino's are a broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your business. Did I happen to mention 4% return on your money? Everybody cheers. <laughs> See? There you go. They know. Sit down with Lucchino today. Review your plan with an independent agent who has only your best interests at heart. Joe and Joe always know. They're located at 2318 Freeport Road next to Donut Connection. Call 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Looks like a few people want to get to the parking lot early, Mike. Yeah. Why wait? Let Lucchino Insurance Financial put you on the road to financial stability today. That's going to be easy to get out of here. Sixty to thirty-one, and now the technicals will be shot by Connor Holloway, and he drains the first one. And all this is doing is adding to our defensive. Statistics would have been tremendous tonight. First appearance for Connor Holloway, 5'9 freshman. And Alicino, of course, hit the two before that. So 60 to 33. 332 to go. Maybe those guys are trying to get across at work out here, Mike. Well, there's a quorum present out in the hallway. <laughs> Woronski. Now to Holloway. This is Gaspersic. They've gone really young out there now. This is Braden Clark, too. Against Myers. Now Woronski. Gaspersic. And this group of Highlands players are playing great defense themselves. And it's out of bounds, and the Rams hold it off. That's a great defensive series there by Highlands. And again, most of the guys out there right now, Mike, are junior varsity players. We have Radishak, Pacey, Myers, McDaniel, and Swanger. That's the five out there for Highlands right now. Here's McDaniel to Radishak right side. 60 to 33, Highlands leads it. Pacey's open for three. In and out. Alicino the rebound. Gaspersic goes to Holloway in the corner. His three's an air ball. And Pacey's got the rebound, and they yeah. said he traveled. He, he bumped, no, yeah, he had no he bumped into Braden Clark, and that'll do it. Mike, only five turnovers in the first half, ten in the second half for the goal rounds. But the crazy thing is, they've increased their lead. Yeah, they lead by 27 now. They led by 17, 17 yeah. at the break. Looping feed in for Woronski. 2.25 remaining. Inside to Alicino with a nice post move, and he lays it in. Well, I'll tell you, he's playing great defense. It's Radish. Yep. Goodness. Alicino's first two of the night, Mike. 60 to 35. Both teams in the bonus at the two minute mark. Myers, runner, good. That's nine for Corey. Highlands wants a timeout at 2.03 remaining. Highlands 62, Freeport 35. Mike, we mentioned Ambridge number one at Newcastle number three. Quaker Valley, you mentioned they're playing knock. They're at Central Valley tonight. Number five spots held down by Uniontown. They beat South Park 72-52 on Tuesday. They're hosting Bell Vernon tonight. And again, the knock night's in at number four. We're trailing by nine. You 
had them ahead by nine. We'll get a final for you here in a minute. By the way, I checked, Mike. The Lincoln Park is number one in 3A. They're the only team in the day that's number one in the state. We have five teams of the 30 teams in the state in the polls. None in 6A, 4A, or 1A. Mars is second. Moon is third in 5A. Our Lady of Sacred Heart is second. It's Wickley Academy, fifth in 2A. And I mentioned already Lincoln Park, number one in 3A. So they're in less than two to go, and we have a foul, and I think that's going to be on Radishak, who I was just praising for his defensive effort. We have a final from Saxonburg. Knock 56, Yacht 48. Is that game in Saxonburg? It was at Yacht. It was at Yacht. Yeah. From Cougar Mountain, we have a final. What was it again? Knock 56, Yacht 48. I think Yacht covered. E. The first one by Waronski is good. He's got six, and it's 62-36. Well, Mike Nock moves a 7-0 in section. York falls to 0-7 in section. We were asking for a lot there, weren't we? Lane Violet. Well, you were asking. I wasn't even considering it. It could have been down by 20 at halftime, and I wouldn't have believed it. Stranger things have happened. Name one. Hmm, okay, let me think about that. All right, here's uh, Swanger with the ball with 150 left. Thailand's leading it by 62 to 36. Here's Leary. Leary in there now. 42. That's McDaniel, 10. And Swanger is 5. We beat Valley in Stosh's first year. That was a great night. That's it. That was a great night. That was a yog knock. I was especially say. happy for Case on Branch that night. Hey, yog knock, knock, who's there? Swanger for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound is tipped. They battle. Bodies all over the place, and we have a travel, which will give the ball to Freeport at 119. And we're going to get. Uh oh, Dean. X getting, man is in the house. Xavier Smith. Dylan Signorella. Dylan Signorella and DJ Loveland. That's 24 Loveland. Smith is 14. And Signorella 22. Twenty-two is Daniel Lynch, the third in the long line of Lynch brothers here at Freeport. Good and to the Rams see that. Throw it away. The Lynch has always been a great group up here. Remember a few years ago, Doctor Lynch cleared our assistant Jameis and need to play the second right. half, but was overruled by the referee. But the referees obviously got their uh, degrees Medical from degrees. another place. Signorella in the paint. Hey, oh. Whoa, left handed up, won't go, and a rebound to Gasparsic. Fire left side to Holloway. Out top to Clark. Now Gasparsic. Lynch. Holloway in the corner. 35 seconds to go. That's the varsity guys on the bench applauding that defensive effort, Mike. They've only had 16 points up here in the second half. That's going to lower that 19 point average, Mike. Uh, steal by Cigarella. Cigarella. Send it in, big fella. Lost the handle. Gets it back. Steps back. Three ball. It's. Oh. It hit the wire. I'm giving it to him. It does. <laughs> Look at Landon. I hope you got all that, Landon. <laughs> we'll edit that uh, hit the wire yeah. out. We'll pretend that never happened. Holloway's three is no good. Signorella the rebound. Six seconds, five. He's having himself a minute. He is. Two seconds. Fire on him. He's going to dribble it out yeah. like he did the other night. And it's all over. Highland 62, Freeport 3016. Some final thoughts on this crazy night at the Hive. Well, Mike, as I just mentioned, 16 points only in the second half, 20 in the first. What a defensive effort. Again, great job tonight. Looks like we're going to take care of our own business come Tuesday. But, hey, Lincoln Park Sunday first. Exactly. Thanks to everybody here. Uh, Sean Stivitz in the AD. Uh, special thanks to him for helping us out, as always. Landon Signorella, Dom Stober. Thanks to you guys. Once again, that final score. Highland 62, Freeport 36. They win their fifth in a row for the Dean Mike Choma. This is Mike Pavlik. So long, everybody.